Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a what's in my hospital bag video. Um, I have watched pretty much every single video there is to watch out there regarding this topic. I love to see what experience as well as first time moms take to the hospital, what they find necessary, what they don't. Um, so I'm really excited to share this video with you guys and show you what's in my hospital bag. And I usually am an overpacker, but I really feel like this time around I stayed within the parameters of things that I should be needing or I think I will be needing and I didn't overpack too much. I think, I don't know, you guys let me know in the comments below if you think I overpacked, but generally I'm an overpacker, so let's just get to it. So the hospital bag that I have is just this big like weekend dirt bag from Target. And it's just a big bag, everything goes in one uh, place in the middle and it has these two like um, straps and a shoulder strap if you wanted to use it. Let's get right on in there. The first thing I have um, on this outside pocket here is just this mask to block out the sun in the event that the curtains at the hospital or blinds don't really block out the sun. I cannot sleep with any light coming in. I can't fall asleep with any light coming in. So just in case. I have a robe. It's just a regular pink with little big dots. Just a robe. Um, I bought this robe in the beginning of my pregnancy. It's like an extra large and I bought it so that it would fit me throughout the entire pregnancy and throughout delivery. So it's really soft and comfy and I'm going to be taking it just in case I don't really want to wear any clothes and I just want to cover up if need be. I have some slippers. These are brand new. I bought them on Amazon. I think they were like $12. I have not used them and I will not use them until the hospital because my current slippers they don't look so good, so I didn't want to take them. I got new ones for the hospital. I have... Now, I don't know if I'm going to be wearing... Want to be wearing any bras while I'm there, but I did bring... Excuse me. Heartburn. It's not your friend. I have this regular nursing bra that clips... Um, and it opens up good for nursing um, it's very comfy I don't know if I'll be using it but I'm taking it in the event that I do want to use it girl it's hot in here maybe it's just me it's probably just me and I have these nursing like boob top bra things these are Honestly, these are the most comfortable. This is probably what I'm going to be using, if anything. I took two in case my breast milk comes in right away and I have a lot of leaking. Um, so, there's that. Now, I have a couple of outfits. I, I expect to be in the hospital, I mean, I guess two to three days. So, I have two to three days worth of clothes and an extra outfit in in the event I stay either an extra day or one of my outfits get ruined. So I have this shirt, which is a nursing tank top. It's just big and pink and clips down like the bra for nursing. Easy boob axis. Okay. I'm sorry if I'm out of breath. I am very pregnant, so you know. You know, girl, you know. I have these little shorts. Well, these big shorts. Um, I get really, really hot. I do have a pajama, a pair of pajama pants in here. I know that it is cold in the hospital, but regularly in my house, it's uh, pretty freezing and I'm still hot. So I'm taking shorts and it's these like long front belly shorts in case I have a C-section. Um, it goes up the scar and it doesn't hurt me. And they're very soft and very loose. And hopefully very comfortable as far as shirts go I pretty much went to Target and got buy two get one free the same exact shirt they're all extra extra large and it's just this like gray one with the pineapple this coral color and this plain 
white one because I do want to take pictures of myself, my fiance, my six-year-old, and the baby all wearing white. Uh, my favorite color is white and I think that that would just be really sweet. All of us wearing white um, at the hospital. Not anything professional, just pictures with my own camera that my mom can take. So that's that. And these are the pajama pants that I am taking. It's just sizes. This is this is a what's the what's this? extra extra large for extra large comfort. It's just these pajama pants. They have like little flower thingies. They're very very soft. Um, and I'm excited to wear them because they're very soft. All of the clothes that I'm taking for the hospital. I washed already with um, the Dreft, which is the baby detergent, just because I didn't want to use any harsh chemicals in the clothes that I was going to be wearing since he's going to be snuggling up on me, you know. That's my clothes. As far as my fiance's clothes goes, I'm not going to show it. It's pretty basic. It's a basketball shorts, a pair of pajamas, three like regular sleeping t-shirts, couple of underwears, a couple of socks. That's his clothes. Oh, my underwear. Girl. Girl, yes. Check out my good Alright, sorry. Nobody wants to see that. Um, but anyways, I went to Walmart and I bought the biggest size underwear that I could find that I thought would fit me. Obviously not like that big either because I don't want them to slide off. But I'm basically uh, taking, I think it's a pack of one, two, three, four. One, two. Yeah, it's a pack of four of the Fruit of the Loom, you know, granny panties. I know that they a lot of hospitals provide those like mesh underwear things, um, so you don't need to take your own underwear. But in the event that I don't like it or don't feel comfortable using them, I got my grannies on deck, girl. I have a pair of fluffy socks. I don't. I'm not a sock person usually, but whatever. Take some socks. Pack some socks, girl. Whatever. Okay. Oh, my robe string thingy. Now, in this little thing, which you probably all recognize because pretty much it comes in every single baby registry welcome bag, I have a bunch of breast pads, nipple pads. I'm not sure which, which is the right term, but I have um, the Lancinon. Lancinol. Y'all know what I mean. This purple one, and I have the Medela. These are all um, free samples that I got in a baby registry welcome gift basket. So I have that full of, and I actually have more still because I made a registry, girl, I made a registry everywhere. Get them free samples. Um, so I have a bunch of those and I have, I have a box as well, but I didn't want to open the box until after I came back from the hospital. I might not even need them. I don't know. We'll see. And then, um, in the event that I have... Well, really, if I have a vaginal or birth or a C-section, I'm going to be really uncomfortable. So I have my handy-dandy Freedom Mom Wash to wash my mom parts. It's just a little thing. You put the water in here. And then you screw this cap on. And then you wash your mom parts. You squeeze it like this. As such, water comes out of here. And you wash your lady mom bits. And then you put it away. Come in this cute little bag. I am taking this. I might not even need this. They might have something like this at the hospital. But I feel like whether I have a vaginal birth or a cesarean, I'm going to be really uncomfortable. And this is just something... I like to waste a lot of money. Let's just let's just be honest. Okay, the last thing. Oh, I have my tripod, my mini tripod, so that I can attach it to the back of the bed while I'm giving birth. 
if I have a vaginal birth, and just record the little sucker coming out. And in my little pockets, I have my G7X and the charger for the which one's this? This is the charger for this camera, which is the Canon EOS Rebel T6i. It's an alpha. And there's the airplane flying over me. Alright. Charger for the G7X. And a few memory cards, cell phone charger. You know, not very exciting stuff. anything else in here? No. I know. And, okay. So I guess the last thing would be my toiletry bag, which is super adorable, and I bought it at Target. It's real cute. So it opens up like this. And let's see what we got in here. Some exciting stuff. Not really. Tooth brushes, one for me, one for my fiance. These are pretty cool actually. You they they're like little pods and sorry. And then you just open them like that. And then you close here. And it's like a like a big person toothbrush. And you just close it right back and it becomes a little mini toothbrush. So two of those, my favorite toothpaste in all of the land. Because it burns my soul and I love it. If your toothpaste isn't burning your mouth, it's not working. I'm just kidding. Don't quote me on that. I have face wash, Cetaphil, and moisturizer Cetaphil as well. Easy, fragrance free. Chapstick. Um, I've seen in a lot of the What's in My Hospital bag videos that a lot of moms go on and on about um, chapstick and how your lips get super chapped during labor and delivery. So I pack that. Two scrunchies. You can never have enough scrunchies. These things just disappear. Thinner. A brush. Again, I might not want to brush my hair. But you never know. I have a deodorant for my fiance. Deodorant for me. Sorry, Dove. Showed your back there, not your front. That was really lame. I'm sorry. And in the last pocket, I just have a loofah. A razor, which let's be honest, I hardly shave at home, so I might not shave at the hospital. But my fiance is bald and he likes to shave, so he might want to shave for the pictures. And also, I bought it because it was really, really tiny and very cute. Look at it. And it has this little thing. So, the excuse is I bought it for my fiance in the event that he wants to shave, but really, I bought it because this little packaging is adorable. Lufa. Love me some loofahs. I got a refreshing wet cleansing towelettes wipes. I pretty much just went crazy in the travel section. I don't know what it is about tiny little items that make my heart skip a beat, but I love them and I want to buy all of them. And I pretty much did. My favorite body wash, which is Dove, the regular moisture, nutrition, deep, whatever. This is what I have in my bathroom as well as the Cetaphil, the deodorant, everything, every product that I have here is pretty much what I use at home. So it's really great that they had all the products that I normally use. A clip. I have dry shampoo in case I don't want to wash my hair. Also, I might not use it because I might not care that my hair is disgusting because I just had a baby. If I want to have disgusting hair, I'll have disgusting hair. But you never know. Maybe for the pictures. And then shampoo and conditioner. If I want to be nice and clean. And that's pretty much it guys. I mean, I honestly feel like this has been my lightest packing. And I know that you're only in the hospital for maybe a maximum of three days, uh, bearing any complications of course, God forbid. But I mean, I've gone to Orlando, for example, like Disney, for less days and I've taken way more. So I'm very proud of myself um, in my packing. I feel like I was effective and I was... <coughs> so rude I'm so sorry guys it's not me it's a child inside of me so anyways I don't even know what I was saying what was saying? Saying? well I guess that's it I don't remember what I was saying this happens a lot pregnancy brain is real people be careful out there 
that's the end of my what's in my hospital bag video i will be filming another video right after this about what's in my baby's hospital bag which is way more exciting i think than what's in my hospital bag so um yeah that's it thank you for watching i hope everybody enjoyed it i hope it was helpful for those of you who are you know planning to make your hospital bag soon so little guy is coming very very soon hopefully unless he decides to stay longer than he's supposed to which if he listens to his mother he won't because he loves me anyways i don't really know how to end video so i'm just gonna stop talking bye guys <laughs>